Hey guys, how's it going? Sean here. I just got this new delay and reverb pedal. It's called the Collider by Source Audio. It's basically a dual delay and reverb combo pedal in one box. You've got dual DSP chips inside, one for the delay, one for the reverb. So you can actually run the delay and the reverb together. Or you can even unlock the pedal, allowing you to use two of the same engines. So you can have two delays or two reverbs at the same time as well, which is really, really cool. All the controls are really clearly laid out. This little toggle switch decides whether the controls are affecting the delay or the reverb. Tap tempo, it's got subdivisions, it's got pretty much everything I'd ever need in a delay and a reverb pedal. There are tons of videos already uploaded on this pedal going into it in much more detail. But what I thought I'd do is just make five cool tones with the pedal and hopefully showcase kind of what it can do. And uh, yeah, all of the guitars were recorded in stereo via my HX stomp. And yeah, let's have a look. So for this tone, I'm using the analog delay algorithm. It's just set up for a really simple slapback style delay. Tone is turned down just to darken up the repeats and I've absolutely no modulation dialed in just for a really simple slapback. And on the reverb side, I'm just using the true spring algorithm for some really nice spring reverb tones. <laughs> So for this tone, I'm using the tape algorithm on the delay side. I've got some modulation dialed in on the delay and I've got the tone turned down a little bit just to darken up the repeats. I had the collider connected via USB to my computer. So the delay time is actually synced up via MIDI sync, which is pretty cool. And for the reverb, I've got this E-Dome algorithm dialed in for a really nice lush atmospheric reverb. So for this tone, I've actually unlocked the pedal. Basically what that means is that instead of running one engine just for delay and one engine just for reverb, it frees up the pedal so that you can use either two delays or two reverbs together, which is really, really cool. So for this, I'm using two reverbs. The first algorithm is the swell algorithm. I just have that dialed in for some subtle volume swells and a short reverb time. But then I have that feeding into the E-Dome algorithm, which again is just set up for a really nice lush modulated ambient reverb. So this next tone isn't actually a delay effect at all. It's a chorus. Well, technically chorus is a delay effect because chorus is based on delay, but yeah. So for this, I'm using the analog algorithm on the delay side. Basically by turning the delay and the feedback dials down and dialing in some modulation, you can actually dial in some pretty cool chorus tones. Again, for the reverb, I'm using the E-Dome setting. I've dialed in a preset on my HX stomp with a preamp, some compression and no cabinet impulse response to mimic like a DI recording. So when the collider is placed afterwards, you pretty much get instant 80s DI guitar tones. So in the previous example, I was using the collider somewhat unconventionally to get some chorus tones. And it kind of got me thinking like, what else can I dial in with it that isn't just your traditional delay or reverb? So using the tape algorithm on the delay side, I tried to dial in, you know, an out of tune, lo-fi, warble, tape kind of sound. Again, I've got the delay time all the way down, feedback pretty low, mix all the way up. So we're just hearing the affected signal. And I've dialed in a lot of modulation depth, but with a really slow rate. Again, with the mix all the way up, we're just hearing the affected signal. 
So the tone control acts as kind of like a master tone control. So I've that turned down a little bit just to darken the overall signal. For reverb, again, I'm using the True Spring algorithm and together you get a pretty cool lo-fi tone. So that was a quick look at some of the cool tones that I dialed in with the Source Audio Collider. I'm actually putting together a compact pedal board for studio use and for live gigs whenever they, whenever they return. And this has got pretty much everything I could need in a delay and a reverb pedal. It's really compact, which is great. It sounds amazing. And yeah, I think it deserves a place on that pedal board. If I was to be really picky, the only thing I wish it had was independent presets for the delay and the reverb side so that you could switch them independently. That would be nice, but it's a small price to pay for such a great pedal in such a small box. Anyways, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this video and please consider subscribing as well if you want to see some more content from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.